Only 66 days remain. A destiny-shaping moment is drawing near. On October 29, 2025, 3i Atlas will reach its closest approach to the Sun, perihelion. But here's the chilling part. At that exact moment, the Sun, Earth, and 3i Atlas will align perfectly on a straight line. Which means, our view of it will vanish temporarily. Ironically, when the best chance, we go blind to its greatest secrets. Its trajectory grows stranger by the day. The signs are there, both obvious and mysterious. Where did it come from? Why did it choose this exact moment? to appear in our solar system. Is this merely a rare interstellar comet? Or is it something far more extraordinary, beyond even Oumuamua, the object that once shook the scientific world? Too many questions remain. Yet the answers. No one dares to confirm. Data keeps pouring in. Hypotheses keep colliding. Numbers keep being recalculated. No scientist, no space agency, can afford hesitation anymore. Because the ultimate question now is, does this massive interstellar visitor carry danger? Or is it a message, a signal, from beyond the stars? Recently, Professor Avi Loeb shared something truly fascinating. A NASA team working with the SphereX Space Observatory has just reported fresh data on the mysterious interstellar visitor, 3i Atlas, between August 8th and 12th, 2025, when 3i Atlas was about 3.2 astronomical units from the Sun, Spherex captured three infrared images at wavelengths of 3.0, 4.26, and 4.7 micrometers. These wavelengths correspond to the emission lines of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide. But here's the surprise. No signs of water, and no CO either. Instead, Spherex detected a massive glowing cloud of carbon dioxide surrounding 3i Atlas, stretching at least 348,000 kilometers. Calculations show the object is losing mass at a rate of about 70 kilograms of CO2 per second, while water loss is almost non-existent, far below earlier claims of strong water activity. This raises a major puzzle. 3i Atlas isn't that far beyond the water ice line of our solar system, where water should easily sublimate. So why do we see CO2, but no water? Spectral reflections hint at a surface mixture of water ice, CO2 ice, and organic compounds, similar to Kuiper Belt objects exposed to harsh cosmic radiation. Yet that still doesn't explain the missing water cloud. Even more curious, Spherex images show 3i Atlas as a sharp, compact point source. No dust tail, no large coma. This explains the image obtained from Hubble also suggests the strange reddish light we see isn't from dust at all, but from the object's own surface reflecting sunlight. Which means this thing is big and dominated by its rocky, icy exterior rather than a cloud of dust. And Avi Loeb points out something even stranger. In interstellar space, it's nearly impossible to assemble enough rocky material to form such a giant body. The available solid matter is 10,000 times too little. That leaves us with a bold possibility. Could 3i Atlas be a technological construct, deliberately sent into our solar system? If that's the case, the CO2 we see evaporating now is only like shaving off a thin outer layer, about one millimeter thick from a 46-kilometer rock over 10 years. In other words, maybe everything we're observing is just surface activity. What lies beneath remains unknown. And so, all eyes are now turning to the James Webb Space Telescope. Made detailed observations of 3i Atlas on August 6, 2025. And for the first time in history, humanity's two greatest observatories. The Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope are both locked on a single target, 3i Atlas, an unprecedented moment in astronomy. Now the world waits for the data from these two legendary eyes on the cosmos, hoping they will finally lift the veil on this mysterious interstellar visitor. 
Over the past few days, the images sent back by Hubble have already shaken the scientific community. Its light is bizarre. In fact, deep calculations and analyses from Harvard professor Avi Loeb suggest that the light doesn't just scatter randomly. It actually seems to originate from a central source, a finding that is nothing short of astonishing. But what about the James Webb? The truth is, we still don't know exactly what it has found. With its incredibly sensitive infrared vision, JWST can detect even the faintest signals from the distant universe. It is the most powerful eye humanity has ever possessed. And if there are any secrets hidden within 3 Eye Atlas, James Webb is the key to unlocking them. But here's where the drama deepens. The James Webb observations of 3 Eye Atlas will not be released immediately. Basically, the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye in the sky, doesn't actually belong entirely to NASA. The Space Telescope Science Institute operates it. And here's the twist. The telescope is public, but the data is private. Research teams, once approved, are granted exclusive rights to Webb's observations for months. During that time, they can publish, stay silent, or keep everything locked away. And that's exactly what happened with 3 Eye Atlas. Martin Cordner's team scanned the object in infrared, capturing over 40 gigabytes of raw spectral data. Then it was sealed off under a three-month embargo. Only the original team could see what Webb had truly recorded. Think about it. Tens of gigabytes of data on a mysterious interstellar visitor and the rest of the world is forced to wait. This is the paradox. Just when debates are heating up, when the world desperately needs clear answers, the most valuable data of all is locked away in silence. Now, have you ever wondered, where exactly is 3i Atlas right now in the vastness of space? In reality, this mysterious interstellar object is racing through our solar system at an unbelievable speed, roughly 152,000 miles per hour. At such velocity, it is moving tens of times faster than the fastest aircraft humanity has ever built. Currently, 3i Atlas is located at a distance about 3.8 times farther from the Sun than Earth, which means it still resides in the outer region, where sunlight and solar heat have already grown faint. According to orbital calculations, on October 3, 2025, 3I Atlas will have its first planetary encounter with Mars. And less than a month later, on October 29, 2025, it will reach perihelion, the closest point to the Sun in its trajectory. But the most remarkable feature lies in a rare cosmic alignment. The Sun, Earth, and 3I Atlas will form a perfect straight line with the Sun right in the middle. At that exact moment, the Sun will completely obscure our view, making observations of this object nearly impossible. Ironically, just when we need data the most, we will be struck blind in front of this cosmic enigma. By December 2025, 3I Atlas will pass its closest distance to Earth before beginning its permanent departure from the solar system. Like its two predecessors, it will leave, never to return again. However, there is one crucial difference that makes 3i Atlas far more extraordinary. While both Oumuamua and Borisov entered the solar system from random directions and left fairly quickly, 3i Atlas follows a retrograde trajectory. This means its journey runs completely opposite to the orbital motion of Earth and most other planets in the solar system. Such a case is extremely rare, since most comets tend to have high inclinations and chaotic directions. Even stranger, 3i Atlas moves almost exactly along the ecliptic plane, the same plane in which the planets orbit the Sun. The probability of an interstellar object coincidentally matching this plane is nearly zero. Researchers estimate it to be only about 0.2%. And as if that weren't unusual enough, its orbital deviation is less than 5 degrees from Earth's, which raises a profound question. Is this merely a cosmic coincidence? or does it resemble a carefully calculated and deliberate trajectory? Even more intriguing, along its journey, 3i Atlas 
will pass by planets that hold significant scientific value for humanity. Besides Mars, it will also approach Venus and Jupiter. The fact that 3i Atlas will sweep past the orbital regions of all three has led many to speculate. Does it resemble a probe surveying specific targets? Its rarity and peculiar motion have sparked a flood of theories. Some astronomers believe it may simply be an unusual comet, but with extreme velocity, retrograde orbit, minimal deviation, and its uncanny alignment with the ecliptic plane. When all these pieces are connected, 3i Atlas looks less like a random wanderer of the stars and more like a guest on a guided intentional mission. It's not just the Earth-based telescopes or humanity's two legendary eyes, Hubble and James Webb. Now the hope also rests on spacecraft still operating out there in the depths of space. Take NASA's MAVEN, for example currently orbiting Mars. When 3i Atlas reaches perihelion at the end of October, MAVEN may hold a unique advantage, getting closer to the object than any telescope on Earth could. Scientists are hoping MAVEN might provide more detailed observations of plasma, magnetic fields, or even strange disturbances in the surrounding environment as the object sweeps by. But there's an even bolder suggestion from Professor Avi Loeb himself. Using Juno, the spacecraft still operating around Jupiter. The idea sounds thrilling. If Juno's trajectory could somehow be adjusted to intercept 3i Atlas, humanity could, for the very first time, send a probe to directly encounter an interstellar object. But reality makes things complicated. Juno's main engine seems to be malfunctioning and its remaining fuel is limited. The chances of pulling off such a mission are slim, yet not impossible. Just imagine it, if Juno could fulfill one final mission. By intercepting 3i Atlas, it would be the most meaningful and epic ending to its journey. A direct face-to-face -face encounter with a true interstellar traveler. One thing is clear, time is running out. The hyperbolic orbit of 3i Atlas will soon carry it out of the solar system forever. If we fail to gather enough data now, it will vanish, just like Oumuamua, leaving behind nothing but unanswered questions. By early 2026, as 3i Atlas moves farther from Earth and closer to Jupiter, that will be our last real chance to observe it up close. After that, it will fade into the eternal darkness of interstellar space its reflected light will weaken, its coma, the hazy cloud of dust and gas, will shrink, and its spectral signature will dissolve into the cosmic background. From a dazzling point of curiosity, it will turn into a faint tiny speck, and then disappear, leaving only an endless void in humanity's curiosity. And that's why the release of James Webb's data is critical. JWST may hold the real keys, exciting clues that could lead us to unimaginable things in this vast and deep universe. Join us in this adventure.